Hi, my name is Kate Legue. I'm one of the instructors here as well as an equine specialist. We're doing a series of videos to help our volunteers orient to the barn and understand the way Horse and Buddy does things. This is our master board. This is really uh, explains all the things that are going on for the day and so this is a great place to check in when you first get here to understand what's happening while you're here. The board is color-coded uh, so we have the instructors here and you'll see uh, the instructor's names are in a particular color and that's going to match with the sessions that they are responsible for. So certainly if you ever have any questions about the board, uh, you're welcome to ask that instructor uh, if you've not figured out the answer already. Um, that also includes the time that the session is going to be held, the riders, the horses that are going to be used in the session, the leaders, and then if there's a slash, the second person is a sidewalker. So in some cases there's no leader, uh, but we will need help in times to get those horses ready. Uh, in cases where there's just one leader listed, or one person listed, that is the leader. And then in cases where there are two, the first is the leader, they're responsible for the horse, and then the second is going to be the sidewalker, okay? In addition to that, we have the stirrup length. The stirrups go left to right, so in cases where there's two numbers, in this case the 14 is for the left stirrup, the 12 is for the right stirrup. If ever you're having trouble reading or have a question um, about what is written here, we do have the board that the instructors use here uh, to gather this information. So if you need to double check, you can take a look at here, but this really should have all the information you need on stirrups. In some cases where um, Riders are using adaptive tack. That may be listed in the stirrup section here as well. So you can see here there's a line through this particular rider. They've canceled for today. But in this example, it says a black suede pad with stirrups wrapped two times. In cases where we're using adaptive tack, <coughs> oftentimes we have a picture, an example of what that adaptive tack looks like. So here it says black suede pad with stirrups wrapped. You can see there's a picture of what that looks like. So that's helpful if you're going to the tack room and you don't know where the black suede pad is or what it is, um, that will give you some direction. And certainly if it's your first time using that adaptive equipment, by all means you can ask your instructor for guidance or the, the barn assistant, which I'll get to in a minute. The last section here talks about uh, bridle and reins. And so this is really customized based on uh, the rider's ability and where they are in the riding journey. Um, some riders are going to use the bridle. When it says bridle, that means you'll put the bridle on over the halter. Sometimes it will say bridle off bit. That means the horse is going to wear the bridle, but it's going, the reins are going to be hooked to the halter and not the bit. It may also include adaptive reins that we have. So we have um, right and left reins as an example. Um, there's a couple different reins we use that are beneficial for our riders based on their skills and their needs. And so those will be listed here as well. In addition to that, on this board, you'll see there are some sessions that aren't kind of in the same format. Uh, we also include any kind of mental health therapy session that we have going on at the barn that day. Um, so there's two listed here where we have a session in mare pasture with Emma and Georgia. We have sessions in the pony pasture for Frosty Girl and Finn. And that just lets you know that uh, there's going to be activity happening in those spaces that we want to make sure that we um, help keep private for those individuals. We also have the barn assistant listed here. Um, that individual is there is to, just to help keep the, the wheels greased and to keep things moving. Um, they help tack horses um, and just make sure that things are moving along. Certainly when leaders have back-to-back -back lessons, that comes in really handy to have that barn assistant there. They're also a really great person to ask if you have questions. Um, they're a great resource. Oftentimes there's other notes here as well that um, are helpful to take a look at. They do change from time to time and so um, just great tips and guidance whatever might be going on at the farm at the time. This section here is uh, one of three places where you're able to uh, sign in as a volunteer. I know there's different uh, um, internet connection or ability to pull this up in different parts of the barn. So depending upon the cell coverage you have, this may be your spot. There's also a volunteer sign in at the gate and also in the volunteer room. In addition on this board, we have the worker bee uh, notes. These are daily tasks that happen at the barn just to keep our barn uh, in good shape and keep things 
up and running. So if you're coming as a worker bee, um, these will be a list of tasks that will be completed for those days. You can see that as you've completed the task, we have some for Monday here that have been checked off. That means those are completed. There's also notes here to let you know um, different things that might be helpful uh, that people have added uh, to that list. And so that is a great place to look just to keep you on track as you're doing your worker bee work. As a leader or a sidewalker, if you have a free uh, half hour or some free time, you can always back, go back and look at this and just see if there's something that you might be able to check off the list. Certainly if it's a new task that you haven't done, um, you can certainly ask an instructor for guidance or ask the barn assistant or potentially a, a mentor or volunteer as well. So that explains this board. Um, the other thing I want to highlight is just this way a little bit. When you're working with the horses, um, from time to time you'll notice that they have maybe nicks or uh, you'll notice you know, an area that uh, needs attention on the horse. And so this board is where we track all the known um, bumps and lumps and cuts and scrapes that we're aware of. Um, and we, we highlight what we're doing to treat those. So if you notice that, uh, for example, Georgia is developing rain, rain rot on her back right side. If you notice that when you're grooming her, the first thing you can do is come and check this board to see if it's something that the staff is already aware of and noted. Um, and if it's not, then that's something that can be added here. You're welcome to add it yourself or talk to an instructor to have them add it um, to this list. Uh, but this is where all of us as a staff keep track of the different care needs that our horses have um, so that we stay on top of treating their needs. In addition to that, we call this the magic board because we put things on this board. These are all facility things that need attention um, and our wonderful uh, volunteers and um, staff within facilities uh, make these things disappear. Uh, so for example, a uh, week or so ago, there was a loose board on the gazebo and I wrote it on here and the next week that, that loose board was fixed and it's no longer on the board. So this is a great place to write some things down um, if you notice around the farm uh, loose boards or anything like that that we need to be aware of to fix. Okay, well that concludes this video and stay tuned for more um, as we explore other areas on the farm soon.